and Tribe's definitely playing better, Hollis. And it's a good start here. They just run into some good teams as Casey will try another three, and she's already got three triples. On a bucket there, looks good. Jefferson in transition for a three, cans it. Five in a row. And Tribe's definitely playing better, Hollis. And it's a good start here. They just run into some good teams as Casey will try another three, and she's already got three triples. Looks like the Traps holding for the last shot of the quarter here. Bellamy going to work. Her spin move, turnaround jumper is good. And William & Mary leads it by 10. The Dukes will just dribble out the final horn. An awesome first 10 minutes from the Tribe. A nice Wagner again getting to the cup. Her floater won't go, but Kayla Beckwith continues her great game. Casey for another three. Yes, what a start for the Tribe. Jefferson inside onto the inbound pass will lay it in. She has now nine points for the Dukes. So almost. Caradine through the lane. And it's been the two players that we expected for the Dukes, Jalen Caradine and Kiki Jefferson. Kiki Jefferson, leading scorer for James Madison. Leaving it off underneath for Goodman, and she'll finish. So a six-point game. Green for three, no good. And the rebound will be Caradine. She'll put it in to cut it to four. 5-31, Casey for an answer on the other. And she's fouled and one. That's a huge bucket for Riley Casey. Top of the key, back to Sid. Sydney driving, step back three on the way. That's good. Just what the doctor ordered for the try. That's Jefferson for a three. Good for the Dukes. They've cut it to one. Second half now. And Kayla Beckwith not ready for the pass. Caradine can give the Dukes the lead if she finishes the layup. She does, and she's fouled. Ceramic into McTeer. Danny will fake the jumper, will drive, try to go reverse. She's fouled in one. That's a heavy move by Danny McTeer. Loses her dribble, finds Ceramic down to 10. Brie Bellamy finds a cutting Wagner. Her floater off the square and down. Good start to the fourth quarter with those two. Time. Caradine to Jefferson in the corner for a three, and that's money for Kiki Jefferson. Just the third three driving now. Spinning through the lane, off to Bree Bellamy, taking all the defense with her, and it's a tie game again. It's becoming ever more important as the time running down. Jefferson driving, her layup is good. Kiki Jefferson, 28, and a timeout. JMU before William Mary inbounds it. It's a 37. Kate will inbound to Bellamy. And this time, Bree will take it herself and lay it in. But James Madison survives and pulls it out here in the second half. Final score from Kaplan Arena, the Dukes win at 64-58.